now, as you can see, a few players are out here. Jordan Gallucci is with us. Jordan, sorry to bother you, mate. How are you? Great game. Thanks, mate. That no, was good. Bruce was, was saying he thought it was probably the best game you've played. Oh, really? Well, then, thanks to Bruce, then, I guess. That um, no, was good. It was a good night for the boys, and, um, yeah, good to just get the W. And who have you got here I'm supporting? My friend, Lily. <coughs> One of my sister's friends, Abby, Lily, and my old man. That's my sister. This is your sister here? Yeah, yeah. What did you think of uh, Big Brother? Or is it Big or Little Brother? Big Brother. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, he played pretty good. It was good. Good goals. Well, well done, mate. Congratulations, well, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. He's uh, pretty excited there. We're going to uh, chat with uh, Rory there in a minute. Uh, why don't you grab Rory Laird? Just before he goes on Fox, One, just one word, Rory. Oh, yeah. Just You had oh, more possessions than that ever in your game. You haven't, of course. I think it was a 42. I'm uh, not too sure, mate. Just get off the field, but uh, I know it was a couple of... Well, well done. I know you've got to do that interview, but well done. Congratulations to you. Good job from you there as well. Might just go and grab a big sauce here. Sauce, what's going on, mate? What's going on? I'm just going to have a word to the man. I wasn't sure if he kicked that goal. It was his first goal or his this man 150th. Uh, well, he's pretty, pretty impressive, wasn't he? Yeah, good was he, mate? He's, uh, he got a lift every time he came near the ball or on the ground as well, so well deserved. Hey, we've all seen the vision of Don Pike announcing that to you guys. That was incredibly genu genuine, wasn't it, from you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, especially guys like that, um, you know, that just means so much to the club and it's not just on the field, even off the field. He, he's such a good man and uh, we're, we're wrapped to staying around for a while, yeah. That, that was evident when he kicked that goal, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly, and uh, he got that longer deal that I think you'll see the next, next generation out as well. My views were all wrong. Well, how good's that? Yeah, no, well done, mate. Good on you. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate. Big source there. Richie Douglas says, where, where is Richie? Over here somewhere. Here he is. Standing over here. Might just grab a chat with Richie. Is, uh, how are you, Rich? Ryan, good. How are you, mate? What would you make of it? Yeah, no, encouraged by the boys. It was great. Four-quarter effort, I thought. Uh, to John Skirt, they played well. They fought it out, but I thought for us over four quarters, we were the best side. Did you get engaged recently? I did, yeah. I did, but yeah. What, what went down? Where was it? Give uh, us uh, give us the feel <laughs> of what happened. Just in Port Douglas. No, it was a nice little romantic weekend away, so uh, it was nice. It was good. Cinder's Moses for you, how long? No, hopefully just two or three weeks. So, um, slight was strong. I got luck on that one, so just two or three weeks and I should be back. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Good on you. Richie Douglas there. Andrew Fagan, the CEO of uh, the operation here, mate. Uh, congratulations on another win and another full house, 46, just over 46,000. Yeah, they're good, our supporters. Uh, they gave them something to enjoy this week. They've had a couple of good days, obviously, with Rory Sloan re-signing and then really big win on a Thursday night. So Thursday nights, would you be putting your hand up for everyone you can get every time a year comes around? Yeah, we certainly do put a hand up for them. And uh, I think the AFL like sending them our way. We've always pretty much sold it every single Thursday night. And we've had a couple this year against Richmond and against Geelong. And, Two good victories, so I'll keep taking if they give them. They seem to like them here, that's for sure. Well done. Good on you, thanks, Peter. Andrew Fagan, the boss here at the Adelaide Footy Club. Bryce Gibbs over here. Uh, Bryce is just here now getting some instructions from the main media man, Riser. Uh, how are you, mate? Yeah, it's good. Good after a win. Great game. I see your dad over there. He's pretty excited. I haven't seen him yet. I'll, uh, come come over and we'll have a chat with him. Bring him over here. I want you to introduce him to us. Because he, your dad, Ross, t tell us about his career in the Sandfall. He's a gun, wasn't he? Uh, he'll tell you. Why don't we ask him? He fancied fancy, fancy himself as a back pocketer and didn't play on anyone back there, but that's all right. So here he is, Ross. Nice to meet you, Ross. Come, come in here, Bryce. Good. Very, very well, thank you, Ross. Uh, what do you got for me? Now, we're just, we were just talking about your career. You, first of all, your son, how did you rate his game tonight? Because you're, you're a pretty harsh critic. No, he played a different role tonight, so that was all right. He started at full forward and it just put a bit more pressure up the forward line, which is good. He, he can. That's what they've got to do, play variety. And he, instead of running around getting the cheapies, he had to do a few team things, which was fantastic. And had the extra in defence towards the end. Yeah. Able to play a variety of roles, as he said, and uh, yeah, a bit down forward, a bit down back, uh, something different. Going to watch the Blues tomorrow night, aren't I? Yeah, I will. Hopefully, I can have a big win. Um, Friday night footy, perfect. Now, what, uh, what, what, what sort of you're, you're a cheeky sort of player? I mean, you're an absolute star at Glenelg, of course, but uh, that bloke right there, Rory Led, ball back memories. Yeah, just cheating in the back pocket and doing what I want. I had a good mob of blokes around me, and it was good fun. Was good what, was fun. The, what was the most pleasing aspect for you tonight? Uh, probably a consistency of pressure. Um, that's the level. That's when we're playing our best footy and we're able to uh, ask them a question going the other way in our uh, offence. So it was good. Well done to both of you. Thank you. Good thanks, on, thanks, Ross. Cheers, anytime. Cheers. Good on you, Ross Gibbs there as well. Rory Laird doing his uh, little thing here. Source here. Tom Duda is here. Who, who have we got here, Tom? Who just introduces us to the entire audience here? Um, so we've got Michael Moneta, who, first time I've met him, I'm just kind of... Uh, been sending him passes. He's his little daddy. Uh, who's this little fella? Uh, friend of my mum's there, so that's Chosen Steve and little Isaac. 
And uh, little Dougie, we sent him a uh, signed jersey because he's been through a little bit. Yeah. And um, yeah, first game for the year for their family, so yeah, they're pretty happy to be here. What did you make of it, Isaac? Good game? Yeah, good game. Who's your favourite player? Tom. Oh, Tom. I've worded him that well. Uh, very nice. Well, you're travelling on nicely. I mean, what do you make of the rest of the year? I think you've got seven games left. It's going to be really tight if you're going to make it. What, 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 how do you look at it as a player? Cliche is uh, almighty, but you've got to take it one week at a time. Uh, yeah, one week at a time. Yeah. If you look too far, then you just... It doesn't work out for the best, but on to Brisbane next week and yeah, keep going from there. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Mate. Thanks. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you for allowing us to uh, have, a, have a bit of a chat there. Big source in amongst Galooch is still uh, there as well. And I think Belinda's somewhere as well. Might just catch a... Pikey, can we... Don, can we catch a... Pikey, can we catch one quick one with you? What, what did you just give us? A, all I want is a rating out of 10 on performance tonight, the way you judged it. Yeah, I thought we were around about 8, to be honest. I thought we had some really strong moments. Our clearance work in the second half wasn't to what we wanted, but to you know, guys' credit, I thought we took the game on really well and uh, were able to put some scoreboard pressure on. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Well done. Don Pike there. Promised the one question. you just got to go with the one question. Where are we going now, up this end? Uh, might just... Uh, you can see there's an extraordinary number of people in the rooms tonight. I'm not sure why it's any different tonight other than any other night, but there seems almost the double amount of people in here tonight. Might uh, go up here if we can find a couple of Hugh Greenwood here. Hey, Hugh, congratulations, mate. Good good win, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was uh, a bit touch and go there in the fourth, but we found a way, didn't we? Yeah, good. you did find a way. Um, it had a lot of good players playing some great, great footy tonight, including yeah. yourself. Yeah, it was a bit of a well, way to numbers game, I thought. Um, a couple of guys stood out, uh, but guys just played their role tonight. We didn't probably get that as much last week, but tonight we did, and we, we saw a result. We're trying to track down Belinda uh, Sloan here. Which, which the, one is she? Uh, the woman of the hour. She's wearing a beanie, I know that. Yeah, I would to... say she's one of the ones that are pregnant. There's about five or six of the girls at the moment that are pregnant. They're all pregnant. Uh, by the way, um, uh, what's your, your comments on Rory signing for five years? Oh, mate, we're ecstatic. And it's one of those things, I'm, I like to think I'm pretty close with Rory, but it's one of those things you don't really want to ask him. Um, he's such a family man. So it was a tough decision for him, but um, how loyal is he? And we're pumped to have him. And every time we touch the ball, the crowd loves it. So uh, it's really good. And Belinda's pumped, so I don't know where she is. She's somewhere around. But we'll find you'll her. Of all people, you'll track it out. Well, well, Very nice. Sorry, mate. Yeah, she's over there. We're going there next. But first of all, have a look at this. Here's Sloaney over here. He's doing an interview over here. Doing an interview with Biggers on radio uh, is Rory Sloan. This is uh, some of their best work. Let's tune in on what's going on here. Yeah. Hopefully not. It's a radio interview, of course, so they're asking through the ears, but uh, Sloaney's all strapped up there, and Biggers is excited about being on TV again. It's great news, but anyway, we might uh, head this way, so well done to both of those guys. And just turn around this way as you walk through. Uh, he's finished now. He's finished. Have you finished there, Rory? Can we oh, grab you for one seat? for radio at the moment, do I? No, your head looks good, mate. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, were you, you must have been excited the way the boys approached you tonight, and especially with the announcement the other day. Yeah, oh, it was a, just a great result for us tonight. We've been, uh, we haven't played our best footy at all this year, and the, that, our press was back at the level tonight, and the way we took the game on, I, I thought it was um, back to the level that we want to be at. Well done. Cheers, boy. Rory Sloan there with us as we go back uh, inside here. There's people running around everywhere. You can see Josh Jenkins over here doing this. Probably of the radio stations that come to a game of footy, there's probably six or seven, and all of the uh, players get slotted into each of those as they transpire throughout the day. I think this is Paul Seedsman here. We might grab a chat with Paul uh, as he's just uh, hovering around here. What's happened to the eye, mate? No, not much. Just a little knock, mate. And who we got here tonight? Uh, we got my girlfriend, one of my best mates, his parents, and then Luke and Steph. So i got a bit of a gang, mate. So you got to get them all tickets or they get their own way here? No, nah, no, nah, own tickets. They pay for their flights over and I'll get them tickets. Fantastic. What, what do you think of his game tonight? He, he did all right. It's the first time I've seen him with a bit of blood on his face, so it's pretty good. So, yeah, he's getting a little bit dirty. It's good, isn't it? He was very impressive tonight. Very impressive. Went in hard. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, no, he was very impressive. Well done, Paul. Thank you. Thanks a lot to everyone.